Did you know that you can use a Max Patcher to build custom UI graphics files? Here's how you do it. I want to make a custom dial mode image for the matrix control object. You can find out all about how those images should look in the picture format subpatch of the matrix control help file. In my case, I need to make a graphics image that has two rows. I want a not clicked row and a clicked row. So let's get going on it. I'm going to use the JSUI default dial as the basis for my image. If I look in the JSUI help file, I can see how to change the colors for the dial. I want one color to be the default state for the dial, and I want another color to be the clicked state of the dial. The top row of my image is going to be the default state. Let's make another JSUI object just below it to be the clicked state. And we're going to join these two objects together. OK. I'm going to add message boxes to set my dials at the correct positions in the sequence. The way these image files work is that they are a sequence of images which display the movement of the dial. So we need to create a number of columns which display these steps. We're going to do this by duplicating these objects that we've made here. Now I'm going to move it so that it's exactly adjacent to the object that we've created. Now using duplication offsets, I can keep duplicating and create the sequence that I need. Now after I've hooked up all of my message boxes, you can see how the finished patch should look. I'm going to move all of these dials into presentation mode and resize the patcher window so it is the exact size of all the objects. And here it is. Now I want to export the image of this patcher window. The export image function in MaxMSP will save the file as a PNG file, which is the exact format matrix control needs for dial mode images. Now let's go and add this exported image into the matrix control object via its inspector. I'm going to replace the cell image file with the exported image from my patcher. You have to be very careful with the options in the matrix control inspector to get this to work right. In our case, we do not have an inactive image. The cell range for a dial mode image is the number of steps in the image plus one. In our case, the cell range is 17. And we have to put the object into dial mode. Plus, I would like to be able to auto-size the rows and columns. And here you have it. The matrix control object is now loaded up with our custom dial mode image. Happy patching!